So y'all know that I'm always on the journey to find the next and best greatest thing. But, but, and I don't, what I, I don't think other marketers and business people don't talk about is really what is going to be the next thing. What is the underdog that could potentially be something revolutionary in the market? That is something I'm always doing. Now, I'm always trying to find that thing that is, it's like, like if you're in real estate, right? If you're in real estate, one of the big things in real estate is that you buy low, you sell high. You buy low and you sell high. Um, you find something that has potential. Find something in what is called an up and coming. I'm doing air quotes. An up and coming neighborhood, aka the hood, that is going to be then, you know, revitalized and revamped and the prices are going to shoot out the sky, right? So that's what you do in real estate. Most people don't take that look when it comes to looking at software and technology, but I do because again, I'm dabbling and dabbling all the time. So I'm always trying to find a new tool, something nice, something that's great, that's cheap now. That way I can own it later. And if it's something that's really brand new that actually works, I can promote it and it becomes the next gold rush software, right? And I can promote it, sell it, affiliate it, whatever, right? So there's this one thing I've I've had it for a while, and I won't say that it's well known here in the states. Um, I have some people I've found a couple places where I've seen folks um adapting it, but it's called Simvoli, and it's essentially a funnel builder, right? It's a funnel slash website builder, and what I like about it is it's it's a funnel and a website builder. Now, how does that differ from all these other systems? Okay. Uh, Unlike Click ClickFunnels, just is a funnel builder. It's not really you can build a website, but you can't do the blog piece. Okay, you have things like Builder Raw that do it all. Uh, they do websites, blogs, all that stuff, e-commerce, but they don't. Necessarily, it's kind of janky. Um, Kartra, you can do websites. The blog piece isn't as strong, but has a bunch of other features. Okay, but again, kind of janky. Um, you have Wix, Squarespace. Uh, Weebly, all these things are website builders. They're smooth in their own right, uh, but they're not necessarily funnel builders. And so I like Simvoli because a couple reasons. One, it's cheap. Two, has some other things as a guy who runs an agency or consulting business that allows me to white label out the software to other people. But what really impressed me about it, not just the price, not just the fact I can build funnels and websites. But at its core, what I don't feel when I use any other platform is how smooth it is to design, right? So it's not some custom code, it's drag and drop, but it just, something about it feels really good. Like it, the, the tech nerd, the design nerd in me feels a lot of satisfaction when I get to drag and move something and put something in place. Like they've done an amazing job. And so for me, I just want to see it do well. It's still very early. They're still adding in features, but if they can keep that same smooth, smoothivity, I, I'm going to make that, that word up the smoothness of it. If they can maintain that, it will set it apart from how clunky some of these other builders are. Now, some folks love their builders. And again, I'm not going to sit there and bash what choice you make in your tool. I've used many of them. I'm just saying that out of all of them, this one just feels inherently good. Like it just feels satisfying I guess in the hand, so to speak, in the virtual hand, it feels very good to use. And so I just, I, so if you want to build out a website, an e-commerce store, a, um, a blog, you want to do it on the cheap and you want something that just works really well when it comes to design, like this makes it simple. It's just nice to use. Check it out. Simply, um, text the word auto, A-U-T-O, 240-696-2009. Um, I keep a list of all of my resources there. So if you miss any tool that I've talked about compared, go there. Uh, if it's not there now, most likely we'll be there at some point in time. Um, but check that out as well. Simvoli. 240-696-2009. Text the word auto if you want a list of the tools I use. A-U-T-O. It's my automation guide. I might go through different tools and resources, different pieces of software, different tips. Um, I also share you, you my automation guide that tells you how you can automate your business, which tools you should use that fit what you do, and how you can hire the right people to also help you get those things in place. Um, that, that guide is always evolving as well. So if there's something you want to see from it, request it and I will definitely add to it. 
All right, y'all. That's what I got. Simply check it out. I love it so far. Um, and I will continue to find ways to use it as it grows. I'm keeping my eye on it. Justin Morgan of AutomationMastery.net. Welcome to this automation podcast. Remember to go out there, automate your business, master your destiny, and maximize your impact. And as usual, treat each day as a building block to a better future. Peace. Welcome to the Automation Mastery Podcast. This is your host, Justin Morgan of AutomationMastery.net. Here to help you automate your business, master your destiny, and maximize your impact. Let's get to the episode. Let's chat. Websites are a myth. <laughs> 